It's just past 6 a.m. in Richmond, and two teams of police and parole agents roam the streets to visit dozens of parolees. Behind the wheel is Sergeant Darren Monahan. State parole agent Teddy Pacheco rides shotgun. The two agencies work together to keep an eye on the area's parolees. Since the team's been together, we probably average 25 arrests maybe a month of just parolees. A growing population of parolees has led cities like Richmond to partner with state parole agents. Part of California's effort to alleviate prison overcrowding hinges on how well parolees are able to reintegrate back into their communities. About 7 in 10 California parolees return to prison within three years of their release, one of the worst rates in the nation. The great majority of violent crime in this city is committed um, by individuals who have more than you know, who have more than one criminal incident in their past. I mean, we're, a lot of our ongoing crime is committed by folks who are um, recidivists. At this house in Richmond's Iron Triangle, Sergeant Monahan checked on a parolee who was living with no electricity and no running water. The house is in disarray and there's no running water. Uh, you can see the, there's, there's trash being stored in the yard. It, it definitely needs cleaned up. It's not a, not, not a place to, uh, to live. <laughs> parole agents and police know that arresting parolees is no solution. They say the goal is to keep them in compliance and in their communities. Some residents are skeptical. Anytime they, uh, they put a parolee at large, a parole guy at large, he, uh, he goes to jail automatically, at least for 30 to 45 days before he even go to a hearing. On this day, more than 10 parolees were arrested for reasons ranging from being found at an unauthorized address to running from police. One parolee abandoned his car in the middle of the street. He was later captured with the help of a police dog. A 55-year-old parolee with multiple drunken driving offenses was found in an apartment a few blocks away from his registered address. Take him to jail right now. Don't go to jail right now. Agent Pacheco opted to send him back to prison. Sir, that lady just told all of us that you don't stay there. Right here. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Oh, man. Regular visits and property searches by agents put a strain on the friends and relatives with whom parolees live. Uh, say you, for instance, had a son that went to prison for six years, and now he's out, and he's coming into your house. That's your castle. That's where you live. And he's staying there. Well, there's parole conditions with him staying there. And now you'll have a bunch of parole agents, police officers, come into that house and, you know, invade your privacy. Until we get a better handle on how to provide services and provide resources for um, parolees coming back, and also how we can get a better handle on even assuring that they're complying with the terms of their parole, um, I think we're going to be, we're going to have some real ongoing problems. Yeah, this car, it, 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 it speeds a lot of stuff up. I mean, the parole agents.